and I had no clue where I was. So, where are we? Then the blinds a little bit and he said, I don't know. He said, I see palm trees everywhere. You told me a story <laughs> once which had me howling. And it, it, in the old days, like I said, it, you know, you, the guys would have beer in the dressing room afterwards. And, and it was a one big party. You'd leave practice. Uh, I've talked to a number of players, not talking specifically about you, but the practice. And then they'd go out and uh, to a bar and have a few pops and, and talk about that and, and t- talk stories and, and, uh, and then get ready for the game in a day or two. But you told me about a road trip to the uh, West Coast one time in your drinking days that had me in stitches and amazed. So, and it would never be able to happen today with cameras and, and Twitter and all that stuff. But do, do you remember the story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, first of all, you know, we're talking about drinking, guys. Uh, I'm very grateful again. You know, grateful that um, I've been sober for 42 years, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, one day at a time, you know? But at the time, um, hey, I was drinking, you know? And um, and we played in San Francisco the first time, the first game when we always flew from uh, Philly to out west, San Francisco. And then we had, at that, uh, that week, we had four or five days in between from San Francisco and Los Angeles. So guess what? After the game, you know, never be, uh, uh, the day of the game or whatever. But I, after the game, then we went out and we had fun and we partied and the whole bit. And then finally, um, the story goes: I woke up, I woke up, and um, and uh, we had two um, double beds in the room. And um, I turned around and see Bobby Taylor sleeping in his bed. And I had no clue where I was. So the chief woke up and I said, Chief, I said, um, um, where are we? See, he opened the blinds a little bit and he said, he called me Ben. You know, that's how they called me Ben, you know, at the time. He said, Ben, he said, I don't know. He said, I see palm trees everywhere. I said, Billy. <laughs> so we made a phone call down, down the, uh, downstairs and um, asked, asked them where we were. They said, you're in Hawaii, sir. <laughs> so, so the beauty about this is Fred Sherrill was looking for us he said I don't have my goalies for practice right I don't know how to reach them so finally we got on the phone and we um, you know we called Fred and we said that we apologize that um, that uh, that old mistake we took the wrong door we ended up in the airport so so, so we, we flew back and you know what what you said earlier Brian, which is so true, you know, everything was quiet and uh, nobody got hurt. And we went on practice hard and um, realized the mistake we made. But there was people, you know, the, the guys laughed at it. And then we went on and uh, and uh, played the next game and everything was fine. But you could How did yeah. you guys play that night? How, how did how was practice for you guys and how did you play the next game? Oh, God. Well, we had uh, three days to practice. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, uh, so you can uh, get yourself back in shape. I've, guess- I've had hangovers that have lasted four or five days, so I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, it's it's uh, you know it, it, fun to to joke about that stuff. You know, we've all had those moments in our in our our past, but not to to make too much light of the situation. Because Bernie, you mentioned that you've been sober now for forty two years, yeah. one day at a time, as you mentioned, uh, and you've actually done quite a bit of work in terms of spreading your philosophy and your uh, life advice in in this department you actually have two books that are out there one is bernie perrant unmasked which i believe is more about uh your your life story and your playing career but more recently a book has come out called journey through risk and fear written by michelle paeva dean smith and yourself and it seems to be like some of your life philosophies uh, and, and maybe some advice to help people who may find themselves going down a path like yours. You know, we sell for sports marketing memorabilia signed product and all that, but for a lot of people, it is something different. What, what was that process like writing that book and what ultimately made you decide that you wanted to get it out there? Well, a, um, a, a, you know, the problems that it was creating, you know, the problems that, um, that, um, you know, that alcohol does to you, that it's not really you, but, there's a substance that makes you act and do crazy stuff, you know. And um, and today, like I said, very, very grateful. And um, I'm involved, you know, with the program to help North Star uh, substance, substance abuse. And, and we help, you know, we help thousands of people to get back and, and um, 
to, um, to uh, it's a disease that you don't cure, you just arrest. It's very important right. to understand this. So just uh, quickly here, um, after 42 years, I have to remember that I'm only one step away from losing the whole thing. That's scary. That's fair, yeah. So people, places, and things are very, very important for me. Now, what was that process like writing that book? Uh, did you find it difficult to kind of relive some of those moments, or did you find it sort of healing to be able to uh, uh, reappropriate them in your in your brain and, and then express them to, in order to help other people? No, you know what? It's good. Even even now, as I'm sharing with you guys, you know, sharing what um, briefly, you know, what um, went on and um, where the um, uh, you know disease took me. You know, it took me away from who I am. And, um, um, you know, what? The, uh, it, was, it was difficult. It's a heck of a, a, a you know, powerful disease. And it all comes back to, again, guys, it's all the same thing with sports. It doesn't matter what you, you're doing in life. You can't do it by yourself. You have to yeah. be part of a team. You know Absolutely. And, and for me, it's Alcoholics Anonymous. And you have to be part of a team because if you try to do it on your own, you're going to break down. No question about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the Sign Off of Frameworth Podcast. Just a reminder that we have full episodes of the Sign Off available wherever you get your podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and more. Make sure to like and subscribe on whichever platform you use. You can find us on Twitter at Frameworth Sport or on Instagram at Frameworth Sports. And hey, if you're not sick of me yet, you can find me on Twitter at Retrograde Mikey. Finally, feel free to send us emails with your questions you want us to answer on the show, and we may feature you live. You can do that by sending your emails to Sign Off Pod at frameworth.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you with a new episode every single Thursday.